If you enjoy coffee as much as we do, this right here is the Philips Automatic Coffee Maker right here for you. It can do cappuccinos, lattes, your Americanos, regular coffee, your espressos. I'm now turning on, I'm getting ready to go ahead and make myself a little espresso right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use it too as well. It has an automatic frother in here. My wife just made a coffee. She had a latte macchiato out of this right here. This right here is month seven now of having this. So here it is. We're just gonna go ahead and put this in here. You can go ahead and move this down if you want to, because this is flexible, so you can move it up or down. You have your water tank back here, and it also has Aqua Clean, which is this filter back here that you just go ahead and replace, that way you don't have to, to scale the machine with it. Up here is your bean bin, and you can also set the different uh, types of grounds that you want. So you can, if you want like bigger grounds, you can do that, or smaller grounds, it's all in here. Over here is the grinder. Then you also have a spot right here where you actually go ahead and put in your own grounds. If you already have grounded coffee, or maybe you have like a specialty coffee that you want, to go ahead and do that and includes a scoop to put in there okay so this is how you do is it i'm gonna go ahead and do espresso i can actually hit it one more time and do a double espresso if i want to which I to, let's do that actually i can go ahead and choose um how how much beans i want i'm just going to do ahead and do a, a minor so just a low one for me i also like to do more water uh and this here is the froth option which i'm not doing froth since i'm just doing an espresso this is aqua clean. If you're going to replace this here, you just hold it down for about three seconds and it's going to go ahead and reset the entire system. You also have your system clean too as well. If I just want hot water, you can go ahead and choose hot water. If I just go ahead and hit this button right here and then it's going to go ahead and grind things up. I will say if you take that lid off, it gets loud, but if you put it back on again, it's not as loud. So right now it's going to go through here. It's pulling the water through the filter and now it's going to go ahead and make our coffee. So, here it goes. Here comes my double espresso. It's gonna go ahead and run one time through, and then it's gonna go ahead and get rid of that pod. That pod will actually go down here inside. So this actually pulls out, and there's a bin on the inside of this with it. And you go ahead and empty out that bin. It'll also give you indications too as well if you, whenever you need to go ahead and empty it out or empty out the water down here, because this also has a water tray in here too. Uh, with it, it's going to go ahead and run through one more time because I'm doing a double espresso. So, it's going to go ahead and grind up beans one more time here. There we go. And now it's going to go ahead and make that, take all those ground up beans, make it into a little pod. And now it's going to go ahead and run the water through there for my double espresso. So easy to use, pretty easy to clean out too. There we go, all done. All done, look at that. Double espresso. And so I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Then you go ahead and start up your next cup of coffee. When all these are here, go all, um, there we go. So now it's all lit up. See Aqua Queen, we're good to go. If this is blinking, that means it's time to go ahead, which on my phone is blinking, but right now it's not. Uh, then you just need to go ahead and replace it too as well. So really, really nice. I absolutely love this Philips coffee maker right here. With it, it has been a game changer. It tastes amazing, amazing, amazing.